Google is about to launch its new flagship phones, the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro, on October 4th. These phones are going to be amazing, and I'll tell you why in this video. But before we start, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Hello, and let's talk rumors. So, what can we expect from the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro? Well, Google has already confirmed the existence and design of these phones in preview videos and on its website. They look very similar to the previous generation, but with some tweaks and improvements. Movements. For example, both phones will have flat displays instead of curved ones, and the Pixel 8 Pro will have a single cutout for all the cameras on the back, instead of a separate section for the telephoto lens. The Pixel 8 Pro will also have a larger display than the Pixel 8, at 6.7 inches versus 6.17 inches. Both displays will be brighter than before, with peak brightness of 1600 nits and 1400 nits respectively. They will also support higher refresh rates, with the Pixel 8 Pro able to go as low as 5 Hz and as high as 120 Hz depending on the content, while the Pixel 8 will have a fixed 120 Hz refresh rate. The cameras are another area where Google is expected to upgrade its phones. Both the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro will use the Samsung ISOCELL GN2 camera sensor for their main cameras, which is a large 50 megapixel sensor that can capture more light and detail than before. The Pixel 8 Pro will also use a 64 megapixel Sony sensor for its ultra-wide camera, which is the same sensor used for the main camera in the Pixel 7a. The Pixel 8 will stick with a 12-megapixel sensor for its ultra-wide camera, but it will be wider than before. The telephoto camera on the Pixel 8 Pro will remain unchanged at 48 megapixels with a 5x optical zoom, while the selfie cameras on both phones will also stay at 11 megapixels. However, Google may introduce some new software features for its cameras, such as staggered HDR, which can capture different exposures at the same time using the same pixels, and Audio Magic Eraser, which can reduce background noise from videos. Also, Pixel 8 Pro will have a thermometer sensor, which lets you measure your body temperature by pointing your phone at your forehead. The most interesting aspect of these phones is probably the Tensor G3 chipset, which is the third generation of Google's own processor that powers its phones. The Tensor G3 is expected to be faster and more efficient than its predecessors, with a 9-core structure that includes a Cortex-X3 Prime Core running at 3G arts. It will also support ray tracing graphics, machine learning processing, and faster storage. The Tensor G3 may also enable some new features for the Pixel phones, such as USB DisplayPort, which allows you to connect your phone to a monitor and use it as a mini PC with a desktop mode. This could be very useful for productivity and entertainment purposes. As for the battery and charging, both phones are getting slightly larger batteries than before. 4485 milliampere hour on the Pixel 8 and 4950 milliampere hour on the Pixel 8 Pro. The charging speeds are also slightly faster. 24 watt on the Pixel 8 and 27 watt on the Pixel 8 Pro via USB-C, while wireless charging speeds remain unchanged at up to 20 watt and 23 watt respectively. Finally, let's talk about the price and availability of these phones. Google has not revealed any official information about this yet, but we have some leaks that suggest a starting price of $649 or $699 for the Pixel 8 and $899 or $949 for the Pixel 8 Pro. These are slightly higher than the previous generation, but still lower than some of their competitors. The Pixel 8 series will run on Android 14, which is the latest version of Google's operating system. Android 14 will bring some new features and improvements to the Pixel phones, such as Material U Design Language Advanced Memory Protection Satellite Communication feature and more. As for software support, according to the latest leak coming from Twitter, Google will offer whopping seven years of major OS security and feature drop updates for the Pixel 8 series. If this turns out to be true, Google will topple Apple when it comes to long software support cycles. Colors. Pixel 8. It will be available in three colors, including the regular obsidian or black finish, gray, peony rose, or what people commonly refer to as rose gold. Apart from obsidian, the Pixel 8 Pro 
will be available in two new finishes, including one that looks a lot like sky blue, and the other that we've seen in the official teasers uploaded by Google, called Porcelain. The phones will go up for pre-order on October 4th, which is also when Google will hold its Made by Google event, where it will unveil these phones along with other products such as the Pixel Watch 2 and possibly some new earbuds. We don't know when they will ship or arrive in stores yet, but we expect them to be available sometime in October or November. So that's everything we know so far about the Google Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro. What do you think of these phones? Are you excited to get your hands on them? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.